Hi, my name is Saddam Qasim and in this video, I will guide you how we can add the order tracking functionality into your WooCommerce website. So when someone places an order on your site, they can easily track their orders directly on your website. Also, they can track the orders on the courier website as well. So without wasting much time, let's get started. This is one of my client's website where I will show you how we can integrate the WooCommerce order tracking. So let's go back onto the backend and we need to install a plugin. So go onto the plugins and then click on add new. So we have to use a premium plugin. Let's open up a website that is wpscratch.com and from here you can get the plugin at up to 90% discounted price. So in the search box you need to type yith WooCommerce tracking. This is the website from where you can get premium WordPress themes and plugins at up to 90% discounted price. So this is the plugin it WooCommerce order tracking premium. The original price of this plugin is around $60, but from here you can get it for just 15 bucks. So just add to cart, download this plugin. I have already bought this plugin. So I'm just going to upload that plugin into my WordPress website. So here we can click on upload plugin and then browse. So that is the plugin. Let's open it, install and activate this plugin. All right. So the plugin has successfully been activated. Now let's scroll down and here we can see a new option it under this we can find out this one order tracking just click on it. Here we can find out two tabs general and carriers. Firstly go on to the carriers tab. Here you will find out almost all the courier companies list which are operating in this world and delivering products just like FedEx, DHL, Blue Dart etc. So on this page, you need to select those courier companies name with whom you have tied up for the products delivery and then click on save changes. Now let's go on to the general tab. From here, we can select the default carrier name. So from this drop down, select any one of them like FedEx. Here are a few options like complete order. Choose if you want to automatically set the order status to completed when the order is set as picked up. So I think this is not a good choice. Then these are some of the default messages which have been set up by the plugins. So just leave them as it is. Tracking info in the order list. I think this could be a good option. Just enable it. Then text and email. You can also change the text as per your need, but I'm just leaving them as it is and leave all these options. At last click on save changes. Now let's place a fake order and I will show you how exactly this plugin works how admin can add the tracking info in the customer backend area and customer will be able to track his order. So I'm just going on to the shop page. Let's add a product to the cart. Okay, let's place an order. Now it's time to check the backend area. So I'm just going on to the backend. Under the WooCommerce, we can go on to the orders tab. Now this is a dummy order. Let's click on it. Okay. Now on this page, you can see a new section named as order tracking. Here you can add the tracking code, carrier name and pickup date. So all these three information will be added to the customer's my account page and from there he can track his order. Now the question is how you will get the tracking code. Well, let's say you have tied up with the FedEx courier facility. So when they will pick up the product, then they will provide you a tracking code and that code needs to be entered in this box. So let's say the tracking code that we have received is 7890. Skip this option. From here, you can select the carrier name and from here we can select the pickup date. So let's say I'm selecting five. Make sure to check this box. That's all we have to do and then click on update. So all this information will be updated on the customer's my account page. Now the admin role is over. I'm just jumping onto my account page being a customer. So this is the my account page and these are few of my dummy orders. So this is the same order that I have placed just now and here you can see a new button track. So the pop-up message shows that your order has been picked up by FedEx on 5 March. Your tracking code is 7890. Let's click on view. So this is the order page that provides the entire detail and here we can see live track your order. So once I click on it, the FedEx page opens and it automatically adds 7890 the tracking code into the URL. So right now, of course, this is just a fake tracking code. That's why it is not working over here. But if you will be having the correct tracking code, then it will be working. I hope my video was helpful. Please subscribe my channel, leave your positive comment and like this video. Thank you very much.